Hey guys, Courtney Adams here with Mary and Martha. And for this video, I want to show you guys all of our charcuterie options. So charcuterie is all the rage. It's super fun, super easy to do. And there's about a bazillion different things that you can do with it. And well, you're in luck because we have about a bazillion different options that you can choose from when trying to make the perfect charcuterie board. So we're just gonna dig in and I'm gonna show you all these different options. All right, so first up we have our new wooden dip bowl. And as you can see, it's our beautiful wood grain that we have on all of our products. It comes with this super cute little bowl that says give thanks. There is the little indention there to hold the bowl so that it's not sliding all around as you've got something in it. Um, the other cool thing about this dip bowl is that it is raised. It's got a side so that you can put food in it and not worry about it falling out. Look at that beautiful grain. But you can also turn it this way. So if you're wanting to create some height or something that's visually appealing on a table, you can turn it upside down and use the bottom and you've still got a really good surface area there to do that with, okay? So again, this is our new together dip bowl, our wooden together dip bowl. Okay, it comes with that super cute bowl. Next, I'm gonna show you guys our two tier tray. Yes, you can use this for charcuterie and it is a great option for charcuterie because you can swap these plates out for the season, okay? So let me just kind of turn it around, give you the view. So this tray will fold up for easy storage if you're not using it. You can also use it every day. So we use ours on our Lazy Susan. <clears throat> this is really fun for charcuterie. The plates, we've got a couple different options. They have these little notches here that you can put into the stand and they're not going to slide off, okay? So they kind of catch on the top and on the bottom. Makes it really easy for you to kind of move it around. And there are different options for the plates. So this is a great option for charcuterie. I know you might not think such when you first see it, but you can totally build on this and it's visually appealing because it is three dimensional. There's more than one level to it. You can do sweet and salty. You can do um, different types of foods. You could do meats and cheeses and fruits and veggies down there. The options really are endless with the two tier stand. Okay. So that is one of my favorites and we use it all the time. I love our enamelware salad bowl, okay? So the enamelware is, it's got this coating on it, but it is the beautiful wood grain on the bowl. So you're still getting all of that really pretty wood, the feet to protect whatever surface you use it on. And then you can see the message there on it. So this is a white with kind of a gray dotting. A bowl, a big salad bowl is great for charcuterie. Things are not going to slide around and fall off. It's really fun to kind of add something a bit different in a different shape to a board or a table with this. Um, and this is just a really big bowl. This is also going to be multifunctional because you can use it for salad. You can use it for serving a dish like a pot roast with meat, potatoes, and carrots. You can also use it for charcuterie or a cupcake decorating event, or decorating cookies for the holidays. There's really so many different ways that you can use this. So that is our enamelware salad bowl. Okay, next up, this is one of my favorite trays to actually decorate with. <laughs> but it is a beautiful tray to use for charcuterie. And this is our together tray. So I love this one. The message is really beautiful on it. As you can see, it is that whitewashed wood, the big giant handles on the side, and it's got that high side lip to it. So things are not going to fall out. The message is together is my favorite place to be. And I do want to show you guys the siding of it. So on the sides that do not have the handles, you have this beautiful detail work here, okay? So this is a really fun board slash tray, but it's great for charcuterie and it's great to decorate with. I love decorating that one 
for the different holidays. So great items can go in that one. All right, next up is a dough bowl. And dough bowls are all the rage right now. Who has a dough bowl? Who is wanting a dough bowl? Well, I have you a dough bowl, friends. Okay, so you can see our dough bowl here. Again, it is whitewashed. It says, give us this day our daily bread. You can also see that beautiful work here on the side that matches the together wood tray that I showed you. And it's big. <laughs> so it is a very deep dough bowl, which is great for using for food and decorating with, okay? With all of our wood items, I do want to say, you're not going to want to put food straight down on the wood. You will ruin the wood. Put some wax paper, parchment paper, um, a bread towel, a tea towel, put something down in between the foot and the wood so that it's not ruining your wood pieces with the food moisture, okay? So we also do sell wax liners and they're fun. They have conversation starters on them and they're not expensive at all. So anyways, this is our dough bowl. This one is a bigger item. It's beautiful for serving charcuterie. Plus it's that oblong shape. So it's a really visually appealing item. It's going to look beautiful on a table, okay? For some food and dressing it up a bit. All right, next up we have our set of two. These are so fun, I love these. So these are our grace and peace boards. Look at the difference in the grain work on this. So every wood piece that we have is going to look different simply because trees are not the same, right? Wood grain is not the same and it's just beautiful. I love the light, medium, and dark on this one. This one's round and says peace. It does have this hook. So guess what? You can decorate this when you're not using it. You can also use these for pot holders. Okay, you can put a hot pot on there and it will protect your surface. Here is the gray board, and it is a diamond shape. This one is so fun because it's all the same grain work all the way across it. And that's really, really rare, quite honestly. I think this is the only piece of wood that I have like this. So that's kind of fun. So these are super fun together. They're great served alone or together. You can make small individual charcuterie boards on those. Your kids can make their own. You can gift them by a set, break it up into two gifts, and that's really fun to do. Okay, this is our Abby charcuterie board, and this is brand new for fall of 2022, and the lighting is perfect on this. It is gorgeous. The grain work is so beautiful on this. I love this. And it's got all different colors and directions of grain work. It has that lip on the board and then the leather handles to hold easily. So as you can see, you can hold it. You could even hang it up and decorate with it. This one is really, really beautiful. Let me turn it around so you can get an idea of that lip. You could also turn this over and use the backside, okay? for a charcuterie board, kind of like I showed y'all with that wooden dip bowl, all right? So this is so, so fun. And I'm gonna show you guys something really cute that comes with this board. So this one comes with these little picks. So it's a little bowl, cup, whatever you wanna call it. And then it's got these little food picks in it. How cute is that? So cute, right? So fun for people to grab their food with. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to show you guys another new board that we have for this season. It is our pizza board. And that is a really fun item to have. Of course, you can use it for more than just pizza, right? So I hope you're understanding the point with all of these boards is that they are super functional. You can totally use a board for more than one reason. You can use it for charcuterie, you can decorate with it. All of these boards are beautiful hanging up on the wall or on a mantle or left out on a Lazy Susan or a coffee table, a kitchen table, an island. They are all beautiful for decorations, but they are also super useful. 
So this pizza board, obviously, you can use it for pizza, my friends. Make you some homemade pizzas and use it as a family. So here is the back side of it. And then here is the front. It also comes with a fun little um, trifold of menu options, or not menu options, but recipe options. Okay. And then you can hang it as well. So that is the pizza board. Again, that grain work looks different with each little piece. So you've got variety there. Okay. Our enamelware platter. I love how big this one is. So our enamelware is really, really fun. And it's not just for spring and summer. These are really different looking and they're really sturdy. So it's almost as if the wood has been coated to protect it even further. So you've got your pink and white board here. I love the saying on that one. Again, you can hear that for the enamelware. It is a big board, y'all. <laughs> okay. And then here's the back with the feet to protect it. It has a tiny little lip on it, but I wouldn't say that this is one that you would maybe be un um, weary about food sliding off. So I would pay attention to it if you're going to travel with it for sure. So this one doesn't have much of a lip to the platter. Okay. All right. Next, we have a board that can be changed four different ways. Okay. So this is our Simply Joys serving board. So as you can see, there are four interchangeable plates right there. Okay. You've got these different plates. So I have the Christmas one on here because it's my favorite. I think it's super funky and retro, but you just take the plate off. Look at how cool that is. It comes with the utensils right inside of it. Again, it's the beautiful wood. The utensils are just right down in there for you to use. So everything you need to be able to serve and utilize your board is in the board. Okay, so it's an all in one. And to just change out the plate, just pop it out, add the new one to it to get a different look. This is our Thanksgiving plate. Okay. Here is a really great neutral plate. I love this one. It's just kind of an off white and grayish brown. And then this last one is the one that comes with it when you buy the serving board. So when you buy it, it comes like this, and then you can choose between the other three. We did also have a spring plate last spring, and I suspect we'll have something again in the spring. So you've got different options there. So that is our Simply Joy's serving board, and it is so fun. All right, of course, we have just a standard charcuterie board because why not? right? Everybody needs just a standard charcuterie board. And this one is gigantic, <laughs> as you can see. So this is a very large charcuterie board. Again, you can see the grain work of it and how beautiful it is and the differences. Okay. It says a gracious home is a place of peace. These are wrought iron handles here. They're very sturdy and they will hold a lot. But this is just a traditional charcuterie board, but you guys, it is big, okay? So let's see if I can't give you an idea with maybe just a ruler. I know that always helps me. So if I put this ruler down here, okay, there is the 12 inches right here, all right? And it's still got a couple more inches. So across your board, you're probably looking at about 15 inches, okay? So it is a big board and it is wonderful, so wonderful. I love it. Again, you can decorate with it when you're not using it. Don't feel like these gorgeous boards have to be put up. They can be left out and hung up and used. They are perfect for that, okay? All right, so this right now, so these are two of our serving boards, okay? And these are great for charcuterie, and I'm gonna show you guys why. So on top, that darker one right here is our Simply Elegant board. This one is our Grace and Gratitude. So you can see this one's whitewashed, just with one coat, but then this one is just our traditional wood. And it is bigger, it's more square, it's more rectangular. It says, good food feeds the body, good company feeds the soul. 
It's got the notches in it for our Simply Elegant Dip Bowls, which come in a set of three. You can buy those separately. I love how big the handles are on this one, okay? This one is our Grace and Gratitude board. It is a bit daintier, as I like to say. It is that whitewash look. Again, you've got the notches. I love this beautiful detailing here. And then the brass handles here. So for charcuterie, you can use these to serve food on either side. You can even put the dip bowls into the notches, put your dips, and whatever else you want in there, and then put your food around the bowls, okay? You can flip it over and use just the flat side as well. So these are multifunctional, you guys, multifunctional. And of course, again, what am I gonna tell you? They look beautiful left out decorated. I cannot stress that enough because they really do. They really do. Okay, last up, I'm going to show you one of our three Lazy Susans. Lazy Susans make a wonderful charcuterie board, but I'm going to show you one. So this is our smallest one, okay? It is our white Lazy Susan. It is painted completely white. It is not just whitewashed. They have painted the wood white, okay? You can see the indentations there. For the detailing, it's beautiful. And then the message, God blesses us with everything we need to enjoy life. It is a smaller Lazy Susan, just to kind of give you an idea here, okay? And then here is the back and kind of the height of that Lazy Susan. So it sits somewhat close to your table, okay? It's a wonderful Lazy Susan. If you have a smaller table, I'm gonna recommend this size. If you have more of the farmhouse or the round table, I'm gonna recommend one of our larger Lazy Susans to fit your table. So those are all of our charcuterie boards. And I feel confident I'm missing some because we have so many options that are available to you. There truly is something for everyone. Charcuterie is so fun, you guys. You can go to Pinterest and YouTube and look up videos on different things that you can do to your board. You can check out ideas that I have shared on my channel along with in my VIP group on Facebook. There's so many different options. Don't be overwhelmed by them. The key thing with charcuterie is color in your food and add some height and some width to your board by using different items, coffee mugs, candle holders, um, bowls, and other plates and pedestals and little baskets, all of those things are just perfect to give your charcuterie board a, just a little bit of extra oomph to them. So don't be overwhelmed by them. You can totally build beautiful boards. And if you have any questions or need help, I'm happy to do that for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel, have liked this video, share it with somebody that loves to host, give them some new ideas. And as always, thanks for being here.